L-E-T, let's go, G-O. Hey, how are you? Welcome to day one of the three-day work from home challenge. My name's Ryan J. I will be the host of this event. Thank you so much for tuning in and taking interest in working from home. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to introduce myself and let you know who I am because maybe you don't know and that's totally cool. Uh, maybe I just flipped up on your scrolly scroll scroll. Who knows? But I'll give you an introduction and uh, a little bit of housekeeping so you know what to expect in the next, well today, tomorrow, and the next day for the next three days. I'll let you know what to expect. All right. Um, First off, my name's Ryan J. Um, I've been working at home consistently. This is my full-time job, working from home for the last year. Uh, all in all, I've been working from home for the last four years. Uh, three of those years was working a regular corporate 40 to 50, 60 hour a week job. And then, um, I found myself that I didn't want to do that anymore. So I started a home-based business and, you know, there it took off. So I started. So, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been doing this a while now. Well, enough to be able to share information and share my hints and tricks and tips and information with you. So yeah, uh, that's that. If you ever have a question or a comment, leave it below or get into my DM because I answer all my DMs. I answer every single question. And uh, if I don't know you and you don't know me, you know, introduce yourself in the comments. Let me know where you're from. And uh, uh, I'm in Minnesota, so that's cool. Um, I'd like to get to know you. So that's a little bit about me. You know, I've been doing this a while now and I really, really enjoy it. And because of the situation we're in right now, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. All right, a um, little bit of housekeeping. So um, throughout this whole thing, today, tomorrow, and the next day, um, I'm not gonna pitch you anything. I'm not gonna sell you anything. Uh, there's gonna be no pitch. I'm here strictly to give you information um, and a different way of thinking. And um, I'm here to help and hopefully I'm providing value that uh, is useful that you can take away from this and you know uh, put action into the steps and make it work in your life. So with that being said, I'm not going to pitch anything. I'm not selling you anything. I'm here strictly to strictly to give you information and suggest, highly suggest that there is another way. So that's that. Uh, what to expect today? Um, we're not going to get real deep into how to do it. Today, I'm going to speak more on why you should do it and the mindset and circumstances and personal accountability and like just give you that type of information there's not going to be too much how to it's mostly going to be about how you think your mindset and uh we're going to go in that direction um day two will be more more hands-on you know here are some practices here are some industries here are you know here's what works for other people so that'll be day two and day three all right with that being said so if you're watching right now um you're interested in working from home right now yes i would think so um interesting times we're living in never has there been a need want or desire to be able to work from home right now um 
I don't have to explain the situation. Uh, it's all over the news. If you watch the news, it's all over your news feed. It's all over your scrolly scroll scroll. Um, anywhere you turn, you can't get away from the facts of what's happening. And uh, it's been apparently clear that, um, yeah, things are different now. Things are a lot different now. Can't go to the stores. You can't go to restaurants. Can't. There's a lot of can'ts. There's only a couple, two, three cans. Um, and that puts us in situations where we have to adapt and make changes. And um, well, I would hope you're adapting. I hope you're making changes, and I hope that this has been like an eye-opening kind of type deal now there's a certain way to think about it where you can think um in the fear mindset fear mind frame and oh my gosh things are things are just going to hell in a handbasket here all right there's that line of thinking of course and then there's the personal responsibility course and positive mind frame that you can take out of the situation that we're in right now. So um, I like to think that I'm highly optimistic and think positive more often than not. Um, so given that being said, the last couple of weeks has been kind of a reset in my hustle and bustle, I've had more gratitude and thankful for the things that I do have. Um, I've taken a lot of walks. I've spent more time with my daughter because uh, she's not in school, you know, um, and just a lot more quality time and recentering and focusing on myself. So that's cool. So that's a good takeaway from it. Now, what is happening? Um, a lot of people are with the, with, but still, there is uncertainty. Now, I can't control the situations. I didn't, contr I didn't create the situation. Uh, you didn't create the situation. It is everybody's if affected by this situation. So what are you going to do for your own personal, for your own person, for you, for your family, for your friends, for your neighbors during this time? And how is your mindset and how do you think of it? Is it a positive mindset? Like, hey, I have no control over it. I'm going to just throw my hands up and what happens happens. And like, I just go with the flow and life just happens to me and I'm just here. Okay, you can do that. Or there is a course of action you can take with your mindset, with your health, with your relationships, with your finances. Those are all things you can be in control of. Can't necessarily control the whole situation but you can definitely control how you think about the situation. And I highly recommend um, thinking in a positive light. Now, whether that, however you have to get there, whether it's uh, exercise, exercise works really, really well, uh, reading, meditating, however you get yourself there, I highly recommend a positive mind frame. All right, so... During these uncertain times, like this is really, well, it kind of snuck up on everybody. I mean, there were, uh, you know, early reports from China that, uh, oh, it's going to get bad or whatever. But to the extent of what has happened, I think is really kind of a surprise. So with that in mind, that it was a surprise, like, what have you done prior to a surprise 
and a circumstance out of your control. And with your finances, do you have a six month nest egg? Do you have the ability to work from home? Were measures put in place to offset not being able to go to work for the next six months? And I'm sorry if this all sounds uh, gloomy or whatever. I don't mean it to come off like that. How I mean it to come off is just something to think about. Like, what if, like, what if this happens again? Are you going to be prepared the next time something like this happens? Now, I'm no odds maker or anything like that. Uh, but highly unlikely, I'm not sure. I can't, I can't say. I can also tell you how long this is going to go on. Um, well, I'll tell you what has happened for me, that um, I just got an email from my kid's school saying that uh, school's canceled the rest of the year. Okay, so that's fantastic. I'm glad that they're taking the precautions and, you know, have the kids' safety in mind and health and wellness in mind. But now I'm a full-time homeschool teacher for the next three months or what have you. So that means I've afforded myself the ability or put in place the ability to be able to stay home, still make money, and you know, make sure that my daughter kind of passes. I'm not sure. But another thing that has happened and that struck me out of that email is that all right, well, if school is canceled, then bus drivers aren't working. Um, the staff in the school aren't really working, you know, and that's going to be for the next three months. And then when school's done, then, of course, there's the summer break. So if you're in the education system in my school district, you're out of work for the next six months. Uh, at, at least six months so and 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 that's real that's not like a fear thing or anything like that that's like a real fact um yeah so that was that was um eye-opening um yeah you know uh about six months ago i used to travel a lot and i'd go to florida and i was in uh, Michigan and I've been you know I was in Dallas and Colorado I, I travel a lot during those times I would like talk to a whole bunch of uber drivers and what I found out through their conversations with them is that this was their side hustle yes they had a regular job of 40 hours a week but they did the uber thing or the taxi thing on the side for an extra extra income all right well that's that's a uh, hundred percent reasonable a person has to do what they have to do in order to one make ends meet um or maybe it was extra pepperoni on their pizza i'm not sure you know i do not know the exact situation but the motivation and the drive was there to find an extra side hustle. Well, guess what? Now that we're where we are, uh, Ubers and taxis and anything service related is not up and operational. Restaurant workers. Um, I heard, I heard a couple of days ago that Georgia was thinking about opening up again <laughs> what okay yay i don't know if that what playbook are we what playbook are we going by here uh is how anyhow that's kind of more political but if they're gonna open up all right great open up but does that necessarily mean that um People are willing to go out to eat, willing to go get their hair, 
done or their nails done or whatever the service would be, are people willing to take that risk? That might take a while. Yeah, you can be open, but if there's still like the fear and concern, doesn't mean necessarily people jump back into old habits like, eh, eh, well, that was a cool month and a half or however long. Yeah, that, that was fine. I, I don't think it works like that. I don't think people's brains operate like that. Um, I want to say people's brains work. Matter of fact, I, I wrote this down. Um, people's brains work more of in a default setting of procrastination and uncertainty until it like really happens to them and then it's like a life or death kind of thing where you make a decision you know so that's kind of what what i believe is so even if places still open up you're still going to be uncertain you're still going to have a little bit of a uneasy feeling and doubt going going out um yeah i heard an awesome quote the other day and man i was i was listening to the rise up challenge and this guy ended ended the day and i wish i would have wrote his name down um but the quote is adversity can break people Adversity also can break records. Hmm, what does that mean? Adversity can break people, but it can also break records. Well, I guess when the, that means in layman's terms and the best I can explain it, um, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Let's say it like that. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. So I guess my question to you would be, are you going to get tough and let this adversity and let these circumstances break you? Or are you going to use this as a moment where you can start breaking records for your own personal development taking personal responsibility and doing what you need to do in these times, breaking your own records and getting going. When the, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Are you going to get going? So if that's, if you're more on the uh, side of, more on the side of, yeah, let's get going. I believe you're in the right spot and I hope I, hope that this is a value to you if it is a value and you know anybody that needs to hear something like this or would be interested in something like this share it with them you know why not uh i'm not getting anything there's no personal gain for it for me doing this i'm not selling anything this is me putting out putting out information to help you so i would I would highly recommend um, taking action. You might not be sure of what it is or how you're going to do it, but action is better than I'm just going to like throw my hands up in the air and whatever happens, happens. Because uh, last week I got a government check and, you know, they're going to just send more. I don't think they are. Um, don't know if your job is so kind to keep on paying you. You know, maybe some are. Keep on paying you when you're not there. I don't know if that's necessarily the answer. Or it's not the, an it's not the answer that I would highly recommend. And it's not the answer that, that I would go with. I want to go with the answer of, hey, listen here. 
this is what I know I can do right now to help me. So I hear and, and take that action and make it happen. When I started my first business, I had no idea what I was doing. Zero clue. I built it from the ground up, you know, paperwork, the formulation, the distribution, the paperwork, like dealing with government agencies and, and the IRS and setting up accounts and creating web pages. I had zero clue what I was doing, but I did know that I did not like my corporate job. I think I was into my corporate job two weeks, and this is, and this is a, another. Um, it was a crisis, yes, but it was my own personal crisis, and my thoughts, my feelings, my motivation. It was my own personal crisis outside of myself. You know, it was a booming, bustling economy. My job was awesome for jobs. I'm not a job basher, but it wasn't right for me. I'm not bashing jobs. I'm just suggesting another way. Um, outside of that, yeah, booming economy, everybody's doing good. You know, unemployment rate is like super low. We had a hard time hiring because everybody had jobs. My health insurance kicked butt. I was paid OT as much as I wanted, but it only took me two weeks in that corporate job to figure out, as I'm there one day, I'm like, is this going to be my next 30 years? And that struck me, that struck a chord in me, that motivated me to, at that point in time, start my own business. I had zero clue how to do it. Well, now I know because I've done it and I took action and built the damn thing and it's awesome. I still own and operate it. Well, I still own and operate the company that I built. I'm also, you know, I joined forces with another opportunity. And so I got like two opportunities that I'm currently working right now, but that's just me. So I'm saying, what, what's the point of all that, Ryan? Oh, good question. The point of all of that is, if the pain and the despair is strong enough, you will have the will to overcome and make it happen regardless of the outside circumstances. And mostly the circumstances for me were in between my ears. Those were the circumstances I had to overcome, like disbelief. Can I do it? Will it work? Well, can I do it? I don't know, but I'm going to try. Will it work? I don't know, but I'm going to try. Uh, is it going to be successful? I don't know, but I'm going to try. Do people want what I'm creating? I don't know, but I'm going to try. So that was what I got out of that whole deal. Now, at fast forward from four years, I could probably start, build, operate a company with uh, a week's time would not be, not, too, not be too far off. Matter of fact, I might even give myself a couple, two, three days leeway in there. Uh, so, yeah. The fear of not doing it and the fear of not trying and the fear of will it work or not, don't let it stop you. At least you tried. You know, are we down right now? Uh, it depends on your perspective. Some people think yes. Okay, well, are you going to rise up then? I hope so. If you're watching this, I hope you rise up. I hope you pay attention tomorrow and the next day. Take control of what you can take control of. 
Do I have control over uh, whether my local restaurant is going to close its doors in six months because nobody showed up? Zero control. I wish them the best and hopefully they have enough uh, put away to keep them afloat. Um, and that's just me locally. It, you know, are my local businesses going to shut down? It's tough to say. I, I really don't know. I can't control their circumstances, but I can control, the, I can't control their circumstances, I can't control their finances. What I can control is I can control my own finances and I can control my own micro economy. And that's really what it is, controlling your own micro economy and taking the steps to make sure that that is still there, regardless if you have to punch in somewhere, regardless of if uh, you get to go back to work. Because I can't answer that for you. But what I can answer is you can, can, take, can take control of your own personal finances and not have to rely on anybody else. And that gives you... a. A little bit of freedom that gives you a certain amount of freedom plus it reduces the risk of anxiety depression worry um, a whole bunch of things that could take effect with having to worry about money so highly recommend you stay on this journey with me and learn how we can get you working from home all right mindset you guys clear on mindset let's think positive rather than thinking negative we talked about jobs who knows if jobs are going to reopen and if if you work locally and it's a independent deal will you have a job we talked about that um oh let's let's close with this adversity quote one more time because I really like it. I really like it. Adversity can break people. Adversity can also break records. So when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And recommend that during these tough times, you don't throw up your hands and be like, ah, I can't do anything. You can do something. You can get going. So I hope this was valuable to you. Come back, same time, same place, same Facer book, Ryan J on the Facer book. And uh, 2 p.m. Central, we're going to get more into like the nuts and bolts of it. Today was, today was just mindset and the reality of the situation. Thank you very much for paying attention. Of course, if you ever have questions, comments, or anything like that, send, send them down in the comments section or DM me. I check every, every single one of them. So, you know, there's a, well, it's a 100% chance I'm gonna get back to you. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Stay healthy. Stay positive and make it a great day.